The Ukrainian commander with us casts an eye to the sky looking for Russian drones. This is no place for complacency. Ukraine and NATO have claimed that Russia suffered badly here. They estimate 70 to 80 vehicles destroyed and a whole Russian battle group of a thousand men mauled. So we're at the edge now of the area where the Russian armour was caught after it had crossed the pontoon river. You can see down here there's a destroyed tank next to it, an armoured personnel carrier. And if we look down the road here, we've got another armoured personnel carrier and another and another. The Ukrainians were able, they say, due to their superior reconnaissance and intelligence to work out where the Russians were going to cross and then bring in devastating levels of artillery. And this is the, re the result. This is only the edge of it. Russia has now shifted its attacks elsewhere, at least for now. When you see this, how do you feel? Super. Great. I understand that our artillery is working, and our troops are working too, because there was both artillery and ground fighting. The units, in cooperation with other troops, were pushing the enemy across the river on foot. Shattered Russian armor is scattered along this path through the woodland. On the ground, we can't move forward. The track is mined. A real disaster for the Russians, but something that the Ukrainians now are saying here that means that the pressure is off this particular front for now and that they believe that the Russians are focusing more of their efforts elsewhere. Ukrainian soldiers pick over the debris of this victory, but the chilling truth is that many of their comrades have ended up like this. And while this is a success in the grinding war for Ukraine, Russia remains an immediate threat. And they've asked us to get out of here with their military commander because the, uh, they're worried that our cars are going to attract attention and therefore attract incoming. This is still clearly an extremely active area. And one, as it was for the Russians, that's a considerable relief to leave.